In this calculus tutorial, I have two very interesting derivative equations for you guys. The first one is, we will differentiate 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the x power. And for the second one, we have to differentiate 1 to the 2nd to the 3rd to the x power. And let me tell you, one of them is actually pretty easy and the other one is pretty tricky, but you know the deal. Please pause the video and try them first before you see the solutions. Done? All right. Let's do this one because it's the easier one. Why? Because I only have this amount of space, right? No, here's the real deal. Take a look right here. The base here is just a solid one. And then when you have one to the whatever power here, it's always just going to be one. So in fact, this is just asking you to differentiate the number one. And we will get zero because one is actually just a number. You can put x to the third power again, or sign x here, doesn't matter. It's just one because the very base right here is just one. Now, let's actually focus on that because that's actually trickier. To differentiate two to the third to the fourth to the x. First, we are going to look at this as two raised to this power. Let me just kind of put a box around it like this, right? Two to the something. And this is the function, right? But of course, we will have to remember how to differentiate an exponential function. So the idea is, if we have to differentiate some number b for the base raised to the x power, well, the result is going to be, we first repeat that, which is b to the x. And then we multiply by natural log of the base b. So definitely keep this in mind. We have 2 to the something. So first, this part repeats. So we get 2 to the third to the fourth to the x, right? 2 to the same thing. And we will have to multiply by ln b. In this case, it will be ln 2, like that. Next, we will have to use the chain rule, meaning we will have to multiply by the derivative of the box. And for the box, what we have is 3 to the fourth x power, so it's like 3 to another box inside. So 3 to the something. The derivative of that is 3 to that thing, it repeats first. So 3 to the fourth to the x. And then multiply by ln of the base 3, like that. Lastly, use the chain rule one more time, multiply by the derivative of 4 to the x. And we can just use this formula. The derivative of 4 to the x is just 4 to the x times ln 4. That's pretty much it. If you want to box the answer right here, I think it's perfect. Right? I really think that this is perfect answer. But if you would like, you can also simplify this just a little bit. Because for the very last part, this right here, ln 4, it's the same as ln of 2 to the second. And then we can put the exponent to the front, don't minus 1. We're just using the rule of the natural log. It's a property. It's not the power rule. So this is really just the same as 2 and then ln of 2. And you have this ln 2, that ln 2. It's ln 2 squared. So let's just put down all the numbers first. So we have this 2 going all the way at the front. And then this ln 2 multiply with that ln 2 is ln 2, and then we square that. Then, of course, we have that ln3. So that's all the numbers. And then we have the function parts, so we'll just write that down. So it's 2 to the 3rd to the 4th to the x, and then 3 to the 4th to the x, and then lastly, 4 to the x. I don't think there's any like a super nice way to simplify this. I think that's pretty much it. I think this is pretty cool for the guest team. That's it.